Cutting across to protests that are taking place right now in Tiruvananthapur, this is uh, over the death of a 30-year-old law student, a Dalit student, was brutalized and allegedly murdered in uh, Perambavur. There has uh, been no arrest yet in this case. It's been almost five days since this girl's body was found brutalized and murdered in her own home. Women's groups now taking up this case, questioning the police as to who is being shielded in this particular case and why has no action been taken yet. Vivek is on the phone line with me. Vivek, give us more details. Now, women's groups, of course, taking up this case. But it is a little unbelievable that this murder took place nearly five days ago and no arrests have been made yet. Uh, right now, we, what we get is uh, one arrest has been made. Now, uh, a person has been arrested who is supposed to be a neighbor and he's been taken to the SP office for uh, further questioning. So, the thing is, we've not been revealed that the identity of the person who we see. But yes, we understand he's a neighbor and uh, he's been uh, questioning right now. Now, uh, what we have also been said is the IG of IG who is uh, investigating this particular case will be giving a press, will be giving a press brief uh, uh, very time soon. Hmm. So, what, what we also get from the uh, uh, the post-mortem report, the problem with the post-mortem report is that it's not clear whether it's been uh, raped. The okay. thing is, it, it, it's clearly saying that in the internal organs, the private parts are being tortured, uh, but uh, they are still not confirming whether it's a case of uh, rape. For that, uh, we okay. need some more time because the forensic, the, the, the Vesharas, the, the internal organs and parts are being sent, in, sent for forensic, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, checking.